Hello my friends and welcome back. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. We've got a beautiful fall day, clear skies, perfect weather. And what makes this day even better is we are officially in pomegranate harvesting season. Check it out. Just check out the abundance of these beautiful pomegranates dangling off this wonderful variety that's its name, wonderful, of pomegranate tree. So here we are just about mid-October, pomegranate season. So if you're not growing pomegranates at home, well, now's a good time that you can find some at your local farmer's market or your supermarket. And boy, oh boy, are the pomegranates something special or are they something special? So ornamental, so delicious, and so very nutritious. So I like to do my best to harvest on demand, meaning I like to get out here and harvest the pomegranates as I go about consuming them rather than all at once. They can hang on the tree for quite some time, but once they do get to their peak ripeness, and we're about there, some of these, as you'll see, are beginning to split. That's when some of the wildlife, especially the birds, start coming in and enjoying some of these as well. Speaking of birds, Don't worry ladies, I'll share some with you. But if the wildlife does become an issue, you can pull your entire harvest. Pomegranates will stay good on the counter, closed up for about a week. Another common technique is to wrap them up in foil and put them in the refrigerator where you can get up to a couple months of storage that way. But for me, fresh is always best and I don't mind sharing some of the harvest with the wildlife. So here we've got a beautiful fully ripe pomegranate ready for harvest here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it using a pair of secateurs. And just look at that my friends. Nature's work of art. So the treat of this fruit locked inside has actually two parts to it. What's commonly referred to as the seeds, the little red aerials as they're known, is actually the coating of the seed. So some folks, they actually like to remove that outer coating, just chewing it up in their mouth and spit out the seeds. Or you can juice the whole thing, including that white pithy part, and extract all the nutrients from the fruit that way. Because that inner seed, which is locked inside the casing, is actually edible as well. And loaded with nutrition, high in antioxidants, adds some fiber to the whole fruit as well, which is also beneficial. So I like to enjoy the entire seed and the casing. So I'm going to be sharing with you today not only how to open the pomegranate easily and extract all the aerials and the seeds from the fruit, but I'm going to share with you my favorite way to actually consume this other than just right out of hand, which is absolutely one of my favorite ways. All right, my friends, it doesn't get any easier than this. All you need is a spoon, a knife, and a bowl. We're going to start by going around the top of the fruit here just cutting in through the peel, about a quarter inch through. Now you can remove the top. Look at that. And we'll just remove any of the arrows that are stuck in there, like so. Now with the fruit, if you look closely, you're gonna see these different veins or ridges in a star pattern usually four or five of them. We're gonna follow that along the outer part of the fruit's skin, not cutting all the way to the very bottom, and only about a quarter inch deep, just like we did with the top, just to get through that outer layer. Just like that. Now we can begin to open up the fruit, but not break these chunks off, but just separate them like so. At this point, you can easily remove some of that membrane, the pith. Don't worry about getting it all out just as of yet, but any of those larger pieces. Now what we're gonna do is turn the fruit over Support each individual quarter section and begin to tap it with the spoon. If 
you've got a heavier spoon, the better. And we can just pick the last few remaining arrows out of here. And it's that easy, my friends. We can now throw the rest of this shell here into the compost pile. And now in just a second, you can go through and pull out any of the remaining membrane material. And this part is actually edible as well. It's got added nutrients. It's just a little bitter. So if you're enjoying the pomegranate directly, you're probably gonna wanna remove it. But if you're juicing it, you can just throw that part of the fruit as well, right through the juicer. Now my audience here has been so well behaved. Let's give them a little bit, shall we? So for myself, I absolutely love enjoying these just right out of the bowl. But there's another way I like to enjoy these by adding just a couple different things to it. Check it out. So what I like to do, my friends, is squeeze a little bit of lemon over all the pomegranate aerials. And I like to add a little bit of Himalayan salt, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and just a little splash of olive oil. And we'll give that a quick stir. I guess you could call this pomegranate salad. And this is a wonderful way that I choose to enjoy it. Or you can actually add this into a real salad, which is what I'm gonna do today. All right, so I'm just mixing up a spring mix salad with a little bit of ranch dressing on there. We'll get those leaves coated really well here. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of gorgonzola cheese in there and then introduce the pomegranate. And there's really no better place to enjoy a healthy afternoon lunch than out in the backyard food forest next to the fish pond. So what have we gone over today in regards to harvesting pomegranates? Well, the season generally is going to be in October, about mid to late October. You can tell when the fruits are ripe, when the outer shell begins to split a little bit. And also if you squeeze the fruit, it should have a little bit of give to it. You're gonna wanna harvest the fruit with a good pair of secateurs, hand pruners. Otherwise, if you try to twist the fruit off the tree or pull it off, you may damage the limb. I also showed you the pro and easy way to extract the aerials and seeds from the pomegranate fruit. And finally, I shared with you one of my favorite go-to recipes. It's a great way to get this added nutrition in. And as with all my different harvest vlogs, I gotta try this on film for you. So delicious, my friends. Making a meal just out of a salad today. Keeping it light. So with that, I hope you got something out of this video today, if nothing else. Maybe you became inspired to grow some more fruit trees, whatever is adaptable to your climate region. Hopefully you'll consider expanding upon your dreams and the abundance that you can grow right on your property so that you can enjoy harvests like these, saving yourself time from going to the store, money, and ensuring that you're getting the absolute best, freshest, organic produce that money can't buy. This world is full of abundance and blessings, my friends. I hope you're able to reap some of God's gifts to us. So with that, I wanna wish y'all a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.